Hello everyone, this is Shelby with Shelby Creations. Welcome back to the Dragon's Den. Let's talk stickers. I mean, we use these all the time. And we buy them. We make them. We use them all over the place. Now a lot of you have seen, you know, my little tip on getting the backing off. And what I simply do is take a piece of scotch tape, tape it down, and then it comes right up. Very simple. Let's see if I can get this off without, because I don't want to use the sticker yet. But I'm going to stick my piece of tape over there because I'm not going to get rid of it. We find stickers that have, you know, in the store all the time. But what if we have something that we really like and it's not a sticker? How do we turn it into a sticker? Well, there's a lot of different ways. And there's a lot of things out on the market now that we can use to make our stickers with. <clears throat> We've all seen, move this out of the way. We've all seen the Xyrons. And most of us have one of these things. The refills on these things can get a little pricey because, I mean, I think I pay like seven, eight dollars for a refill on this. And if you use it as much as I use mine, that gets pricey. But what if it's something bigger? Well, you know, Xyrons get bigger. <clears throat> we got the next size up, which has, I think, a two and a half. Where's my ruler? I've got one on my pen here somewhere. Yeah, that's two and a half whole inch entry that way. And it's a little less than an inch and a half on this one. But like I said, the refills for these can get pricey. So, and you know, these were gifts to me. Yeah, Christmas gift, birthday gifts. That's a good time to get you know, those pricing machines or even the refills for them. Believe me, I am not ashamed to ask for <coughs> refills for my birthday. Another thing that we could use is double-sided adhesive tape. Now, we have, let me pull out my little tape drawer here. In here I have the quarter inch this isn't quite a half an inch, or like three-fifths or something, but these are the ones that we usually use. Now these are easy if you want to make, turn, you know, stick something down. You put this on the back, and if you're traveling, you've got some things that you want to make into a sticker, you know, go ahead and put your tape on before you leave. A lot easier. Another thing we use is the double-sided sticky tape. Now this one isn't as thick as you know what we usually get but I like the thinner ones so I've got I keep this and this is my little tape caddy and it goes right over here on my little shelf but what if we want something bigger there are things out there that we can use we have a scrapbook.com has their double sided adhesive rolls this is the 4 inch and I have a 2 inch and I have the 6 inch yes these are expensive but they do go on sale for half price you know a couple of times a year and that's when I buy them and believe me that's a lot of tape on there but I use these mainly for albums and but they're great to have you can unroll this cut off a section or it, when you unroll it just you got your piece down here because I don't have these opened yet. Let me go ahead and open one. Uh, it's easier to show than tell. Let's take that in my trash can. Move these two out of the way somewhere. I don't have any place to put them. Uh, I'll stack them back up over there. Now, just to find a little something to use here, 
Uh, somewhere, somewhere, somewhere. Here we go. I have, I'm going to use the card here, and all I'm going to do is I'm going to trim that one end off. sitting in there right. Oh, there we go. Good enough. Trim that section off and then I've got I've got a card I can use. Nice, simple, easy. But if I want to turn this into a sticker, as this this is just a little bit short of that. Not a problem. Let me see if I can get this unrolled. Roll a section out. And then now, if I'm going to put it all over, it's going to have to go this way, which is not a problem. And I'm not too good about putting it down straight, but that's okay. Now, on this, it's better to use your cutting blade. It is scissors that out a little bit so it'll lay flat and then all I'm going to do is trim right along the edge. Off that part goes, roll that up and stick it somewhere and then trim down all the way around the card. Well. Oh well, it's one of those days. Now, it, with this part here, I do not throw these away. I will simply trim off that one little end because I can use that somewhere else. So what I do is I come in here in my sticker book open it up, find me a spot somewhere, thought I had some in here already, oh, I do, ah, see this is where I've had, I use other ones, and what I'll do is I'll just stick it down there, now this was off of, um, oh, the full sheets, this is the backing off of a full sheet. Not the scrapbook.com one, but um, it was another brand. It had the paper on the back, so it was easy just to glue down. And I put those on the pages in my sticker book. So now I can keep all that in there. Out of sight, out of mind. Now I've still got one little edge here. And I'm just going to trim that up with the scissors. right along the edge. Of course now I have to go back and clean my scissors afterwards. That stuff will stick to just about everything, especially your fingers. Alright, well, come off, come off. Put my cutting board back away and put my knife back in my piece of cork. Craft knives have a tendency to roll. Mine have a tendency to roll off my desk and stick into my foot. That's why I keep the cork on top and then when I put it in my container I can put it in bottom side down and just grab this. If I left it that you know without that and I go to grab that tip I'm gonna cut my finger. If I don't have the cork on it and I put it tip side down I could break off the tip of my knife. So, always safety first. Back to our card. Now we've got a card that when we peel the backing off, that whole thing is a sticker. And you can make up several of these, stick them in your journal or wherever, you know, in with your ephemera stuff. And you've got it for when you travel or if you're going to a hop or, you know, anywhere. It's an easy way to make a sticker. Another way I found out and I found this out totally by accident, is with shipping labels. Yee! 
These are full size, eight and a half by eleven shipping labels. Bought at the office supply store, and what I thought I was getting were regular size shipping labels, you know, like quarter page. Nope. You figure as big as that was, I would have read that, but it was in with the regular, you know, quarter ones, and I grabbed two of them and ended up with the ones I wanted and these. These are awesome. What I did, I pulled out and printed. This is from Christy Art Designs. I got it, you know, you can find a lot of things on Etsy, on um, you know, different places where you can buy digitals, and that's what this is. It's a digital. And I simply printed it off on the shipping label. Now, they do have several areas which you can, you know, peel off the big part, but now I've got a whole thing. I can cut each one of these out. That gives me eight stickers right there. You can do, you know, if you're like me and you save stamps, and I love old stamps, I will take, and you've seen my little container, I will take stamps and make copies of them. I've got a friend that's a stamp collector, so I send him the originals. But I'll make copies of the stamps that I like. And that way when it comes time that yeah, you know, I've got something I want to use, I can either cut these out or I can print them on the whole label. Or yeah, you know, that's a lot of white to that will be cutting off, but that's another way you, know, you can use the shipping labels, even the smaller labels if they're yeah, you know, if you've got them, yeah, you know, laid out right, they'll fit on the on the half sheets or whichever type of labels you want. Those are just some of the things that that I use, and I know you've seen me go in this box before, like running stamps. The ones we get now have the the glue on the back, and you have to actually peel them apart. Be very careful sticking them in your Zyron because they'll stick to the edge and then it's hard to pull them through but and you can't really do the the little pad thing you see I've got one here somewhere you know like we all have that that does the cornstarch or talc on those don't work when it comes to stamps because they're not going to adhere to the sticker yeah but the Zyron's a good way to go the you know the label um, the shipping labels are good but those are just a few of the ideas that I use when I go to make stickers now I hope some of this has helped you if you like what you the little tip I shared with you today give me a thumbs up hit that subscribe button so you'll be notified of my next upcoming video we've got a lot of things coming up we're taking it sort of slow during the month of September because this morning I was just informed of two more challenges coming up that I didn't really realize I had agreed to, but I did anyway. One is October's 13 days of Halloween, whereas within the, you've got 31 days in October, but you've got to come up with 13 different things crafty for Halloween. Yeah, it could be anything. It could be paper. It could be jewelry. It could be anything but it's got to be 13. Coming up in December we have the 12 days of Christmas which is the same thing but with a Christmas thing. So we've got those two challenges coming up so for September we're going to try to play catch up, work on our journals, maybe make a new memory album, um, more hints and tips coming out all the time so stay tuned. Like I said hit that subscribe button and you'll be notified the minute the next one comes out. And I will see you all later. Bye, guys.